D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. North is with me. Jen is with me. We're in northern Arizona. We're up in the Kaibab National Forest. We wanted to get out of the heat, so we came out here. I think we're at about between seven and 8,000 feet. Cooler for sure. Way cooler by like 30 degrees. By like 35 degrees from where we just came from. So North has his first motorcycle. What do you think? North pretty stoked. We just got out of the shop. Yeah. I'm you stoked. ready to ride? Heck yeah. North has a TW200. Used one, we just got out of the shop. We just had the forks rebuilt, oil changed, brakes. I mean, you name it. We did it to it, right, Jen? Right. Jen's got her TW200. And I've got my XT250. So we're camping tonight. We're gonna do just a little bit of moto riding, some camping and some chilling and enjoying the cooler weather because Lord knows we are sick of the heat at this point. Right. All right, so uh, we're not gonna get camp made up yet. We're just gonna do a little ride and we're gonna get laced up and uh, get on the dirt. So join us. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. It really helps us out. And it started. All right. How's it going? It's going good. All right. Let's roll. End of the road. All right, we just came out of that road and we're, this road here is Forest Road D492. This sign was laying down in the mud, so I just picked it up and I brought a map so we can kind of have a look and see where we are. Oh, the road's not listed. We are parked, here's Jacob Lake. I know this is not really showing much of anything, but we're right here along this canyon, somewhere out in here. So, we'll figure it out. Dirt road.
choppy. Nice. 264B, huh? The sign says right there. Right, I got a little ahead of him. Me first? You first? Yeah, got it. Oh. Take the end of this road. Shortcut back to our road to where we're camping. Quick little detour. Some chicken and hot sauce, eh? Mm -hmm. Is that spicy chicken? Heck yeah. It's buffalo chicken. Grab one. Yeah. Heck yeah, I will. Right, Chin? Oh, yeah. Very nice. Then we'll continue our ride. Off we go again. So we had to take a break and ride on up to uh, Jacobs Lake, right here. Gateway to the North Rim, the Grand Canyon that is. If you don't know, Jacobs Lake, their cookies and milkshakes are dope. So we're gonna ride on, one of the roads that we wanted to take is actually closed due to flood damage. So we're gonna try another dirt road and see if we can get some access there. It's already about four in the afternoon. So we're gonna ride for a little bit longer and then head back and get camp ready, yeah. Get ready for the cold. Let's do it. Yeah, all right, we're gonna ride.
So this spot right here is the very first spot I ever camped in the Kaibab National Forest almost 20 years ago. Right here. That's my old fire ring built over there. Right here. It took me all day to get the rocks to build this big old fire ring here. Hasn't been used in some time, I see. <clears throat> yep, almost 20 years ago. <laughs> Overlooking this little valley right here. Seems to be a few more trees, some fire damage, but other than that, still the same beautiful spot. So what I'm thinking about tomorrow, we're just kind of riding the dirt roads today, but tomorrow we want to ride the dirt roads all the way to the uh, lip of the Grand Canyon. And we're wondering about gas from where we're staged right now. We could put the bikes on the trailer and go a little farther. We can continue down this road to have a look if there's a better place to stage that gives us a few more miles. I can carry extra gas on my bike. I don't think I'll need gas on my bike. We've got up to 90 miles before you hit the reserve on the TW. Yeah, all I've got to do is start my trip thing, and as soon as I hit 45 miles, well, no, that's, i got to go back. Yeah, there. point of no return, right? Or maybe 50 if we push, push yeah. it. Yeah. So either way, I think we can make it if we have to take lots of different dirt roads because we're worrying about the road closure. So anyway, that's what we're thinking. Um, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get back on the road and ride it down a little farther to see if we have to deal with another road closure. If not, I think we have, there's a, there's just a, a maze of roads, out, dirt roads out here. It's really cool. Uh, if it's not closing, we shouldn't have a problem to get out to uh, a viewpoint in the Grand Canyon tomorrow. So I think we've ridden far enough. We would have seen signage about road closure. Oh, I think so too. Yeah, I think we're totally fine on this particular route uh, to avoid the road closures. So uh, that'll be it for tomorrow. Yeah. So at this point, we're gonna turn around and head back to camp. We still gotta get camp set up. And uh, tomorrow's gonna be a long day on the dirt to get to uh, uh, viewpoint of the north rim of the Grand Canyon. That's the plan. Sounds pretty good? Hell yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap it and roll back to camp and get set up for dinner and kicking it. All right, we have made it back to the truck. No worries. I think we've decided we're not even going to put up the temp and tent stuff. We're just going to actually sleep on the trailer. Is that what the plan is? Low tonight is supposed to be 49 degrees. Stars are going to be beautiful. Though. Yeah. Wind's supposed to drop a little bit, so we're going to dig a fire pit and uh, cook some burgers in a little while, but um, I think that's the plan. And then get up and try and make it to the uh, lip of the Grand Canyon in the morning. Anyway, we'll see what happens. See if we'll get ignition. That side. Yeah. Okay. Right on. Here we 
Fuego. Fuego. So I had called actually the uh, the Kaibab, North Kaibab Ranger Station and uh, spoke with someone because I was curious about a fire ban. They lifted the fire ban back in July out here. It's had quite a bit of rain. So we're good to have a fire. We're not gonna have a big fire, but we are gonna have a fire because we have to cook the burgers and chill, you know, story. But um, we should be good to go. Pre-made patties. Are we able to handle these, North? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's see how delicious this burger is. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Super good, huh? That'll work. That's just right. All right, we are at the blue hour. Love this time of early evening out here in the forest. The winds died down a little. Awesome. Camera's not gonna pick it up, but the moon's coming up over here. And he's gonna get some water for some hot tea, eh? That's right. That was a pretty awesome day, huh? Amazing. Yeah. And the cool weather is so refreshing. Agreed. Man, let me tell you. All right, well, getting pretty cozy over there, Jen? Oh, well, I am cozy. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Trailer's the place, and then, uh, where's up here? there is that bright north yeah <laughs> so that's it man we're gonna wrap it up and get some sleep i don't want the camera to pick it up but full moon up keep us nice and bright all right buenas noches see you in the morning buenas noches <laughs> Buenos dias. That was a rough night. <laughs> Sleeping on the trailer. Yeah, the um, man, the moon was up all night. It just came up, not quite where the sun is, and just. And then when it got about right there, it didn't move. It seemed like. And it was just, just bright as daylight. Still pretty, but man. Uh, that's camping for you though, isn't it? Anyway, sun's up now. Just coffee, something to eat, and get back on the motos. Hey, North. Thanks for making coffee. So like I said, there's a maze of dirt roads. We are up here around Jacobs Lake off Forest Service Road 282. Our plan is to come down all the way to this point, Crazy Jug Point. It's a pretty cool viewpoint of the Grand Canyon. So we gotta navigate through all these roads here to get over here. So I'm just gonna write down road connections. That way I can just kind of reference them pretty quickly and that should get us where we're going because the road closures are up here around Snake Gulch. I guess it washed out or something with some of the rains recently. 
So these are all the Forest Service road numbers we got to do. 282, 212, 62, 29, 22, 40, 25. I think that will eventually get us to where we want to go. And we got to uh, we got to watch gas. I think I mentioned earlier the TWs should go between 80 and 90 miles before hitting the reserve. Mine can go a little farther. I'm going to carry extra gas. So what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to mark it. Wherever we get and we hit the 45 mile mark, if we're not where we want to be, we're going to have to turn around. Um, I don't think it's any farther than 35 miles to the points, but I could be wrong. And uh, we'll just have to keep track of that. So it's a lot of going back and forth. It's not a straight shot, that's for sure. But um, I mean, we'll make it one way or the other. Right, Jen? That's right. Okay. So we're just going to get some food together in agua and then uh, gas up the bikes and we'll be on the road baby everybody laced up yeah all right well i guess we'll hit the dirt then huh Okay, I missed a turn somewhere. That's Highway 67 to the north rim there. Um, yeah, like I said, there's a maze of dirt roads, so sometimes the numbers aren't visible. So we gotta do a little backtracking. Right, well, so far we're back on track. We got back on 212, we hit 462. They've got the road blocked right there. So you can't go that way. So we actually needed to go left. We gotta come down, take a right on 429. And then that should get us on 22. 22 will take us out to Crazy Jug, which is down here. We still got a ways to go. Okay, so we've been on 429 road. This here, that's 454 going that way. So we got to come back on 429. And that should drop us right into road number 22. After that, it's just another right to another road. <laughs> and then we should have a straight shot to Crazy Jug. I, we've been keeping speeds under right around 30 miles per hour, just under, huh? Mm -hmm. It's taking us a little longer, but should save us on gas consumption. How many miles have we gone so far? 27. 27 miles, and we're looking at 45 miles. That's Max. the 
halfway point. I don't think, I don't think it's 20 miles to get to the viewpoint from here. It doesn't look like it on the map. Yeah, well, you know. But, uh, yeah, we're getting there. It's just a maze of roads. But it's still pretty cool. The weather's delicious, huh? Awesome. Yeah, it's just cool and beautiful, man. just turned on our second to last road and the signage says that we've got 12 miles to go and we've already hit the 40 mile mark but but we haven't really gone over 30 miles an hour I just checked the gas and Norse tank I think we can make the 12 miles I think these bikes can go 100 miles a little more of 100 miles round trip at those lower speeds and then I've got a gallon of gas on the back of mine I know mine can make it I think we can make it if we stay low what do you think I think we'll make it I think I'm willing to take a chance <laughs> all right well I guess we'll go on huh yep. all right okay well let's finish the final stretch yeah yep. all right I just had a Jeep run me off the road. Oh man, look at that. Oh. I just ate it on the gravel. My left hand and my right elbow hurt. I hit the brakes, but this gravel, mm -hmm. I slid right into this. Jeep was coming up around here hauling ass. You almost hit you guys? Hell yeah. Yeah, I had to go off. Almost hit your bike, Dave. You saw it, huh? Yeah. There's no way he didn't see you. If you pass motorcycles like that, you're gonna look in your rear view. There's no way they didn't see that. <sighs> Oh, uh, they keep going. Maybe they're drinking. <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> yeah. 
<sighs> Man, I ate it. That guy almost hit me. Well, better to eat it than head on for sure. Yeah, guy came around the corner here. He's hauling ass. All these blind corners. And I, I hit the brakes and uh, went off into the ditch here and just totally ate it. And that was it. The guy kept going. That's why we wear all the gear. All the gear all the time. Well, better I ate shit in the ditch than on the front of that dude's hood. Yep. That would have sucked. Guy had to be going 40 miles an hour. He almost hit you too, North, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, well, the small as the road is. Be dangerous out here. Oh, man. Well, that could have been a whole lot worse, huh? Yeah. I don't think my bike's damaged. I don't see anything dripping out of it, so. No, bash guard's good. Yeah. Had to readjust that. Jesus, man. All right. You guys ready? Crazy jug viewpoint. Wow, man. The last time I was out here, none of this was here. Let's go check it out. There were no signs saying you couldn't camp. Place right where that side by side is, we camp right there. Man, my, how things change. All right, well, let's go have a look, eh? I even made a little trail. How about that? How about that view, eh? Not bad, huh? What do you think, North? It's awesome. Yeah, right? What do you think, Jen? Amazing. I think I want to camp out here stay there. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like a pretty good place to have a sandwich, huh? Yeah. All right, well, I think that's what we're going to do. Hey, Jen? I think my sandwich got kind of smashed after yeah. that wreck. How about that? It's a pretty good sandwich, Jim. Yeah? Yeah. Good. 
Yep, absolutely. Works very hard on that. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think, Jen? Was that worth the moto ride? Yeah, it's a cool view for sure. The moto ride was worth the moto ride, though. The moto ride was worth Even, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, for sure. <laughs> All right, well, last couple looks here at Crazy Jug Point from the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Beautiful views, of course. And now, what are we, just over 50 miles in? From clocked, camp, I clocked 49. But... I think we'll be able to make it back. We've got enough gas. I think we'll be fine. So we'll find out anyway, won't we? One way or the other. All right. There you have it. Suppose we should hit the road, huh? It's going to take a, a minute to get back. <laughs> what is on the side of your helmet, boy? You got a butterfly. Sick. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to take it nice and easy on that stretch of road where I almost got head on by that Jeep. All right. 50 miles back. What do you think? I think we're going to make it. I think we'll make it. Yeah. <laughs> We made it back to the main road 22 here. We're just kind of stretching our legs, man. Our butts are a little sore. Not to mention various other parts of my body for the obvious reasons. But uh, we're just pretty much going back to where we came from 425, 22, 29, 62, 12, 82. It's a mess of roads, ain't it, Jen? Spanning 50 miles. So once we're done, this will be 100 miles, and uh, I think we're going to make it. Bikes are up. There you have it, folks. Kaibab National Forest, Grand Canyon, butterflies, wrecks, man, everything, huh? Even burgers on the grill. Okay. Gotta love it. We are loaded up and getting out of here. Until next time, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for sticking with us. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps us out. Thank you to the patrons. We will see you next time. D-Rock out. Jen out. North out. Adios.